Hi, I'm John, and welcome to this product spotlight. On this show, we're going to look at a car from Atlas. So let's head over to the workbench and get started. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. This is an HO scale 53 foot Thrall articulated well car. This is from Atlas, and it comes from their Master Series. If you look on Atlas's website, you'll find that the MSRP for the undecorated model is $109.95, and the MSRP for the decorated model, like this one, is $129.95. Now, these are, as I just mentioned, MSRP, so if you shop around, you can find it for less. Just saying. On the Atlas website, they say that these will run on an 18-inch radius, but they're really recommended for 22 inches or greater. Anyway, I want to talk to you a little bit about a small problem that I had with this model. When I went to assemble it to get this picture that you're looking at right now, I found that the post would not fit into the hole, because that's how these go together. And the problem was there's a little detail part that I had to remove using some tweezers. And once I did that, they fit just fine. I'm not someone who normally would tell you to remove detail parts from your models, but in this case, I have to in order to put it together. Not sure what's going on there, but if we're modelers, we fix these things. The model also comes with a bag of detail parts without instructions to tell you exactly what they are. I'm sure someone out there knows what these are and if you happen to be that person, you're welcome to put a comment in the comment section below and let everybody else know what they are. Atlas offers this in a variety of different paint schemes and numbers, so your best bet would be to go to their website and see if they have what you're looking for. The paint and markings on this model are outstanding. The yellow is thin enough to not obscure any detail, but thick enough to cover really well. Something else that's kind of interesting about a model like this is that the portion of the car that's on the far right is actually called the A articulation. The one in the middle is called the C, and then the one all the way over here on the left is the BN, because that's the brake end, which we're about to look at more closely. So I've taken the B portion of the car off the track to show you this is, in fact, the brake end. Here's your separately applied brake wheel. There's chain detail in here that looks really good. You see how it goes all the way to the side here. That's a nice touch. Also, I'm noticing how fine all of the, you know, grab, stirrup, all, all of this extra detail on here is really finely rendered stuff. And then it has etched metal walkways, which also look especially good. Something else that's really cool about the etched metal walkways on this model is that they vary depending on which prototype you have. Like the prototype, these are smaller wheels at the very end where the couplers are. And then the connecting wheels, which I'll show you in a second, that go to the middle unit are larger radius wheels. It's kind of a cool thing that you don't really notice when you're out rail fanning the prototype. I brought in the C articulation just to demonstrate the difference in the radius of the wheel sets. Now let's get back to looking at that brake end. Here's the other side of the brake end. And you know, this is kind of an unusual model, so I'll just do my best to show you as much of it as we can in a way that makes sense. Now here's the other end of that B unit, and you can see there's more brake detail here with the reservoir and photo etched walkways. A very detailed model. And then this side of this end has even more brake detail. I think you call this thing a triple valve. Pretty cool stuff. So the C portion of the car has the same kind of detail that we see on both the A and B portions, including etched metal walkways and fine detailing on the sides, including the stirrups. And finally, we're going to look at the A car or A articulation. You can see it has some brake detail here, much like the brake end has. 
And then you can also see that it has the same kind of metal walkways and other fine stuff like the wire grabs and finely rendered stirrups. And this actually is another chance to look at the fact that the wheel radius on these articulation trucks uh, actually is a bigger wheel radius than the ones on the ends. And like I said before, the prototypes are like this too. It's not something you really notice until you know about it, uh, but it's pretty cool once you do see that and then you notice these in real life. All right, so I've loaded the car now with, from the left to the right, there's a 48 foot container from Class 1 Model Works on the bottom and a 53 footer on top. The middle articulation has two 53-foot Atlas containers, and then the one on the far right has a 45-foot on the bottom and a 48-foot on top, just to show you that these look right. This is a very good model of a prototype that's very common on the rails these days, especially with all the intermodal traffic that runs around the country. Something that's interesting I, I noticed was that the well car bodies are not made out of die cast metal. They're actually made out of plastic. And as such, you could run these as a bare table, but you'd want to make sure that the entire train is empty or that you have these just at the end of the train so that you don't get a string line issue. Another opportunity for people to add weight would be to put the containers in and add weight to the containers. Uh, something else that was a little unusual was I don't remember ever having to remove a detail part in order to get the car to work properly. So that was a little departure, something that I wasn't expecting. But again, I mean, these are models that are really detailed with a lot of parts on them. Uh, it's probably just you know, something that got overlooked at the factory, I'm guessing, something like that. Uh, but overall, it's a really nice model, and it especially looked great with the containers added to it. So good job on that front, Atlas. I'll see you next time.